What's going on? Nitro Gamer 7 here. Just got a new uh, Xbox One Windows 10 controller. It's the X91. Sorry, it's a little dark uh, hanging out in my living room with the projector on. So I just wanted to show the uh, controller design and the input lag on it. Doesn't seem like it doesn't really have any. Hard to tell because I've got a projector and it's not a gaming projector by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, so yeah, it's by Hyperkin. Uh, I have the Retron 5. It's questionable. Um, <laughs> the pins actually started to get pretty bad, but um, I'm pretty excited about this controller. I love the Super Nintendo layout. Um, I wish that they would have kept uh, A and B reversed um, like the Super Nintendo, but that was their decision, and so I don't know how that would all work, but that's all good. So here's the box. Um, yeah, nothing super special about it. Uh, I'm going to open up the inside of it really quick. I took just one of those standard packages out of it. There's like a, hey, don't eat this type package inside of it. Um, but when you open it up, that's what it looks like. And there's really not much to it. Um, so really, I just kind of want to show off the controller itself. So I'll put that away. And here's the controller. Um, again, sorry, it's hard to see. Um, you've got A, B, X, Y. Uh, a and B should be switched, but that's okay. Uh, the D-pad actually feels really good. That was the whole reason I got this thing. Um, very responsive. And then if I just press it. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's right on. Um, I think the D-pad's pretty slick. Um, hold up, 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 up. Oh, kind of see it in the video there. It's it's pretty accurate, and so I'm happy with it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty exciting. I think it's a cool controller. Um, it'll probably be my primary PC controller since I don't have an Xbox One. But uh, I'm just a huge fan of old school D-pads. Uh, I was thinking this thing might be too clicky, but it's it's a good combination of being mushy and accurate. And a lot of controllers don't do that. Um, so I think it's fantastic. I'm excited that I've got it. Um, it'll probably be my primary old school PC gaming controller and I'll just keep that in the living room. Um, but yeah, it's very responsive. Uh, it's, it's comfortable. The triggers on the back of it are massive. Um, and they stick out big time. I'd, I'd be okay if they didn't have them. I mean, some people obviously want the analog trigger, but, um, you've got your shoulder buttons up here. Uh, that's more than enough for me, but modern controllers you need to have the triggers I guess in the back for shooters But if you're playing this thing for shooters, I think you really kind of messed up um, Yeah, control sticks are good Responsive obviously this one's not gonna do anything because it's Sonic CD Yeah, it's a very responsive controller uh, happy that I've got it and so that's I if I'd say one out of ten I'd probably give it a 8.5, 9. Uh, I don't know the longevity of this thing, how long it's going to last. I've, I've heard Hyperkin's had some problems. It's better than the Retron 5 controller. Doesn't mean a lot. But uh, yeah, that's. I, I think that this thing's pretty solid. Um, definitely good for old school games. I don't know if it'd be good for a whole lot else, but I'm happy that I've got it. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'm going to be playing some Sonic CD. So enjoy the rest of your day, YouTube people.